Connor, this is a very interesting one because I spoke to a couple of guys at my gym the other day and they took the piss because I was very, very excited. I think it was Saturday a week ago that I heard, and for those of you in Johannesburg will get this, in the Randburg Cresta area, I heard a Woodlands Kingfisher. Now, this wasn't a mistake and it wasn't someone's phone. There was a Woodlands Kingfisher calling in and around my house, which got me excited. I was running around up and down out here, very excited. Now, how much of the wildlife do we see out of the reserves? It depends where you go, Connor. If, if, if I'm in Kenya, you drive from Nairobi to the Mara, there's no fences. So the closer you get to the reserve boundaries, if you will, no fences, you start seeing giraffes, some antelope, and so on and so forth. It's not quite like everybody wants to believe that there's lions running around in the street and we go to school on elephants. It doesn't work like that. So, however, there are areas outside of, of Johannesburg and the main centers where you do still find wildlife. Um, out towards the Mahalisburg region, you, there's a vulture restaurant up there. So there's a whole bunch of natural vultures that the guys are now feeding. They travel vast distances. Uh, foxes. My dad used to manage a place called Free Me Wildlife Rehab. They had a bit of a drama recently. Different story. Uh, but at that time, and they got calls for people finding pangolin. They found um, Cape Clawless otters. Just, I mean, within 10, 20 kilometers from here. So it does happen. Birds, insects, obviously a whole lot more. Um, but yeah, not... They're not running around all over the place, purely because of the nature versus man kind of clash that's an ongoing thing, I suppose. <laughs> Funny one, years ago, we had some friends. We worked internationally on, on cruise ships and stuff way back. And my wife and I got some friends out from New Zealand and from the States and Australia and stuff. And they were all joking, oh, we're going to drive. And from the airport, we're going to go. And we're going to see lions in the street and elephants all over the place. And you keep on telling them, no, it doesn't work like this. And after a while, yeah, okay, what, whatever, you're right, it works like this. And then we had a road trip up to Cape Town, and then we went to the Kruger with them. So the one morning, we're staying outside a lodge, outside of the Kruger, we're driving in, and as we drive, it's about half past five in the morning, on the main tar road heading towards the Orpen Gate of the Kruger National Park, there's a lioness in the middle of the road. There was a fence, a hole in the fence. This thing came out in the road, and I had to explain to all my friends that this is not a normal thing. So Connor, depending on where you live, if you're out in the valley, of, in the valleys, out to in, towards the more, more rural areas, you will find some wildlife, but not the big stuff that we go out to photograph. Still fun though, great to hear. And I did hear a woodlands kingfisher in Johannesburg. Gonna find him still. My name is Jerry, I'm from Wild Eye. See you guys next time.